Hey, what's up everybody? So, I know that when it comes to barbecuing, grilling, smoking meat, that sometimes we tend to buy all kinds of accessories and stuff like that, only to find out that they suck. When I say buy stuff to barbecue, I mean like the thermometer. You know, this is a handy tool. Gloves to make sure you don't burn your hands. Yes, I know. Oh, goggles for when you're smoking and your eyes burn like hell from all the smoke. Yeah, we tend to buy a lot of stuff to help our performance or comfort of grilling improve. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you and save you money and time, hopefully, when it comes to buying a rotisserie kit for your grill. Now, my grill that I'm using my rotisserie kit for is for my Weber Kettle 22 inch grill. That's right. I love that grill. All right, and I want a rotisserie, roasts, chicken, all that good stuff. But I wanna show you this video because I want you to see how it works, the performance of it, my pointers or my pointers on what to do and what not to do when using it. And also some really great barbecue sauces and rub recommendation that I think might help you step your game up as well. All right, so here we go. Excuse my voice. I just got over being sick with the big C, so it's a little bit graspy. But hey, let's cook. Let's test out this baby. Let's see what happens. All right, let's do it. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how the Only Fire rotisserie kit for the Weber 22 inch kettle grill looks and how easy it is to put it together. And I'm also going to give you a recommendation of a spice by Spiceology and also four barbecue sauces that I think you will love. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I've been very excited about getting this Only Fire rotisserie kit for my 22 inch Weber kettle grill, and I am so excited because this right here is something I've been wanting for a long time. Now the instructions are not that good because it pretty much just tells you the parts that come with it. But first what you do is you pull the long skewer out of the bag and then you're going to put on that counterweight and then you're going to put on that handle as well just like this and then you're going to take out those little forks that keeps the meat in place. So you put it in like this and it has little screws that locks it in place so that way it doesn't slide around on the skewer. And then we're going to put this motor together. All right, so here's the little bracket that holds the motor in place. For me, a 22 inch grill, I'm using the third slot. Just make sure that the power button is down and then you just lock it into place. I'm using the third slot. So that way everything stays in place and the meat doesn't stop rolling around and spinning and all that good stuff. And then after that, you just kind of screw it in and lock it in. Pay attention to this part because this Make sure that the skewer stays locked into the motor. All right, and now you put on that spacer that goes between the grill and the lid. And then you put the meat on. Just make sure that the meat is locked into the slot of the motor because you do not want it to slip out. And it sits on there just like that. Nice and easy. All right, another thing is to make sure that the power cord is away from the heat. You do not want to have it sitting on that metal part because the last thing you wanna do is burn your brand new rotisserie cable. All right, so the meat is on there. It's on, it's spinning really, really nice. Put the lid on and then you let the meat cook. All right, so this took about an hour and a half. Um, just make sure you follow whatever the guidelines are for whatever type of meat you're cooking. And I'm gonna check the temperature of the meat and it looks like the meat is done. All right, so now it's time to take the meat off. Look at it. Mm, mm, mm. This is a beautiful piece of pork cooked up really nice and even on the rotisserie. And I got to say, this is something that is definitely going to be worthwhile buying. All right. So a note, make sure that you have that counterweight adjusted just right and make sure the other end of the skewer is set in the motor real good when you're doing this um, because you don't want it to come out. And it's so simple. You just unscrew it pop out the skewers and there you go you are ready to enjoy your meal with yourself or whoever else you're cooking for and the sauces and the seasonings that i used on this beautiful pork roast right here is by lily's q 
That's right, they have some amazing, nice, tasty barbecue sauces. The smoky barbecue sauce, I'm telling you, this is one of the best sauces that I've ever had. And if you wanna give something a little kick, use the hot smoky barbecue sauce. This is really, really, really delicious on some chicken wings. And they also have a nice Carolina barbecue sauce, has that nice tanginess to it. Mm, I love this sauce. And for you people out there that want to be on the healthy side, you can use the zero sugar Lily's Q Carolina sauce. That's right. This stuff is so tasty. And for the rub, I use the Spiceology GH garlic and herb seasoning. Make sure you give them a check out too. Spiceology is their name. They have so, so many different flavors, rubs and spices. You will lose your mind out of all the choices that they have to offer. All right, that's it, guys. Now it's your turn. Go cook some and let me know if you have a rotisserie and how it came out for you. All right, bye.